Hey everybody, how to identify chords and name them. Here you'll learn four tips on how to identify chords and their functions, which will help you to identify the type of chord being used. Tip number one, ID the key signature. You've got a 50% chance of it being major or minor. You just need to decide what your options are. Each major key has a relative minor. To find the relative, you just need to count back three semitones. C to B, B to B flat, B flat to A, means the relative minor in the key of C major is A minor. Tip number two, confirm the key signature by looking at the first bass note and the melody note. In this example by Haydn, the bass note is an E flat, the melody note is an E flat, which confirms the key of E flat major as opposed to C minor. Tip number three, name the bass notes. This is a good way to decide what the chords could be. By naming the bass notes, you can work out the quality of chord in the next tip. Tip number four, confirm the chord by looking up into the score. Here in Haydn, the violin and viola parts have a G and an E flat, therefore confirming the first chord as being E flat. You can see in this example by Haydn, that we have identified three chords of the sevenths. Here in the second chord, there's an A flat in the viola part, therefore supporting the fact that the B flat chord is in fact a B flat seven. So to quickly recap, ID the key signature, confirm the key signature, ID the bass notes, and then confirm the chord by looking up into the score. For more tips, tricks, support materials, why don't you head on over to clarissacustommusic.com.au Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.